So it's the 3rd of January, I'm just heading out for my very first run in six months. I didn't realise how long it had been but I've just checked, I've got this app where I used to track it and it's been six months so I'm quite excited but I'm also really dreading it. I just think it's going to be really hard because I haven't run for six months. I really didn't realise how long it had been. I knew it had been a while but basically last year, you don't know, I started training to do a marathon and um, I was just realised I was getting really miserable because I was just going out constantly all the time thinking oh I need to do this amount of miles and like clock up the miles and I just stopped enjoying running so I decided you know it's just not worth it and the six weeks holiday was coming up with the kids and I just didn't know how I was going to fit in training and you know without feeling like I was just I don't know neglecting the kids which I know sounds silly but so I decided to quit and I promised when I quit that I would still keep up the running and I just didn't. I just stopped running whatsoever. So I'm going to go out and um, hopefully start my first run. I've now been running for just over seven and a half minutes. Doesn't sound like very long. Oh my god, I'm naked. I'm challenging myself to just do 10 minutes, which as I say doesn't sound much, but when you haven't been out for six months, it's killing me. So I've just finished my run. I wanted to do 10 minutes, I actually did 12 but I didn't really because it was really muddy and I had to keep like not stopping completely but you know you have to like slow down and there was a bit of ice and stuff so I decided to go for 12 minutes which actually was really hard even though I kept like slowing down because of the mud and stuff like I don't know trying to like run through mud is quite hard and yeah my pace was really slow I think I did just over a mile according to um, my watch but yeah, I'm pleased with it. I'm just glad I've made a start. So it's the 4th of January. It's um, the first day back that my daughter goes back to school after Christmas and she's not up and Clark doesn't want to eat because he's too tired. So um, I'm not sure how this morning's going to go. I haven't managed to have any breakfast yet. So um, yeah. Wish me luck. So I got to the school run in time. In fact, we were early, like we were there, and um, there was a queue. They hadn't even opened the gate. And anyone who like struggles to do the school run, and who's like me, who's normally like, you know, running in trying to catch them before they close the gates, like you'll just know how amazing this feels. It's like all oh, my Christmas that came at once. So yeah, the only thing is, I didn't get a chance to have any breakfast, but I don't care. I managed to get the kids to like my daughter's school on time, and I was relatively like stress free, which I was dreading after the Christmas break because they didn't wake up till like after nine yesterday. So yeah, so I'm just really glad I done. So I'm gonna make myself some breakfast now, and then I'm still aching a bit after my run from yesterday, even though it was only a short run. So I think I'm going to try and do some like, um, I got like a DVD for Christmas and it was like yoga slash meditation. So I think, I hope that's going to be quite gentle, but I haven't meditated for ages. And that's one of my things this year. I really want to get back into that because I'm just, I feel so much better when I'm into like, med like doing a meditation practice. And um, I don't know if you've seen, but um, I posted a blog post, I think a couple of days ago. Well, it'll be about a week and a half ago from when I post this video. Um, about how I want to just make the best 2017 and I just feel like that's the way to do it just um, meditate, exercise, eat healthy and just see the positives and everything <laughs> I just posted a picture on Instagram about that I'm doing veganary and it's like really vibing with me and I'm really enjoying it at the moment and um, because I've been like on and off veganism for like 18 months um, and I'm not going to go into the reasons for that because I've done a like blog post on that so I don't want to like bore you with that and um, for those of you that have like follow my blog um, but it I'm only, I'm only on day four so I don't want to kind of like speak too prematurely but it's really vibing with me at the moment. I'm really enjoying it and I was actually dreading doing it. Um, I was purely doing it for more ethical reasons and to just to just feel a bit healthier because I ate rubbish last year. But I think the reason I wanted to talk about this is because the reason I think it's like really vibing for me this time is before I was trying to like it'd be perfect and I was looking at other people's plans and like looking at other YouTubers and seeing what they were doing and 
I, I don't know, I think I just put too much emphasis on like getting it perfect and like getting it right and actually not really listening to my body and like listening to tune and this time I just I think probably because in my head I've like oh it's only a month so if I don't do it perfectly it doesn't matter but actually I think like there's no perfect way to do it vegan or, e or any kind of like you know diet lifestyle choice that you make i think you have to just listen to your body and listen to what it's telling you and this time i'm doing veganism but i'm not doing it like oh i have to have x amount of fruit or i have to go like rot or full or I, I i just i'm not following just any just any set plan i'm just literally listening to my body and if i like feel like i need more carbs and you know i just doing it and if i fancy a bit of like um vegan chocolate i'm having it i'm just yeah, it's just vibing for me and I'm just really, really loving it and I'm just listening to my body and I'm not like restricting any calories but at the same time I'm not like trying to cram calories in because I know like some of the vegan plants they do that. I'm just literally like eating when I'm hungry, I'm eating what I want and um, but I am trying to like keep it healthy but but that's because I, I, I feel like motivated, I want to be healthy, like, um, I don't know, before I just wasn't feeling it and I was really struggling to get motivated and I don't know, this January, New Year, I'm just really, yeah, I'm just like feeling motivated, I, I, I want to do it and yeah, it's just work, it's just really working for me. So um, I'm going to do like little snippets of this week, things that I've been eating and stuff and but yeah, if you'd ask me like for a set plan of what I'm doing, I'm, there's no set plan. I'm just eating when I'm hungry and what I fancy and trying to keep keep it healthy. To quieten the frontal brain, moving the hips back to child's pose, to all fours. And breathe out slowly for five counts. Hands to hips. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm trying to watch her. And every time I look up, I'm not doing what she's doing. Oh. I just... If I normal yoga, like, I just feel like I don't know what I'm doing. And my elbows do just different things. Like, they just have, my elbows have a mind of their own. So... I'm just really bad at yoga. That's why I like power yoga because it's so quick that if you don't know how to do something, you're on to the next thing, and because it's quick, you're getting your heart rate up. Normal yoga, I just I suck at, but at least I'm trying. <laughs> Hey, so it's Thursday evening and I've just kind of had a bit of a cock up. Um, I was making like my favourite vegan dish and when I say mine it's actually one of my friend's recipes. She made me about four or five times now and I just love it. It's just my favourite vegan thing to eat. I thought if I'm going to be successful this time with veganism then I've got to like be a bit more prepared and make food so I thought I'll have a bash at making it myself and um, it's meant to be like normally we do it just for us the both and um i didn't really know the amounts of per ingredient so i thought oh, i'll be fine i'll give it a whirl and um i've just made ended up with this like massive pot of food um so i hope it tastes good so um i'm testing it out i'm trying it now and it's here and i was really worried that and um, where it ended up with about like six times the amount of food that was meant to end up with that it wasn't gonna have much flavor be a bit rubbish and actually it's super hot it's really really good though but oh my gosh like my mouth's actually 
I'm fine. But at least it was a success and now I've got two days worth of food to eat, so woohoo! So it's Friday morning and oh my gosh, this morning getting up was literally painful. I'm so tired and it's my own fault. It's all self-inflicted of just like being, just doing too much and having like way too many late nights. So I think today I've got some housework to do, then I've got a friend popping over. Then I've got my mum in law popping over and then this evening I'm doing Facebook lives. I'm doing them all throughout um, January on a Friday evening if you haven't seen on my blog post so come over and check that out. Um, but yeah I think I'm not going to, because I'm busy all day, I'm not going to get a lot of vlogging done but I just wanted to come on and say like if you're trying to get into shape just make sure you get an early night. Like take it from me, I'm really really struggling today and um so that's going to be my goal i think this week to make sure at least five times a week i get into bed for for 10 o'clock because as i say i'm really struggling and i think it's just an important thing to do so um i probably won't do any more blocking today so um i'll see you tomorrow hey everyone so it's saturday so i'm just gonna go off on um my second run um for this week i'm gonna try and just do two miles which um the other day I only managed to do just over a mile so hopefully I, I can get that and then I'm just going to try and go on from there um, so yeah let's see how I get on just done my run and I did it I did two miles I had kind of like three intentions to want run for at least 20 minutes and um, so that was like the minimum I wanted to do and then two to run two miles which is what I was hoping for and then three to run for over 24 minutes because last time I ran for 12 minutes so I wanted to kind of see if I could double that so um, I got 20 minutes into it and I was like woohoo I've done it I was like right let's go for two miles did two miles and then I was like right I'm going for 24 minutes so I did just over 24 minutes my pace or anything wasn't fast um, but you know what I feel really really proud of myself like my tummy muscles ache and you know when they like feel all tight after a run that's how they feel um and oh, it just feels so good i think the mistake i made last time was when i was running because i was just trying to like focus on doing this marathon i just became really miserable so then when i stopped any eight workouts i did i just felt like really really just and angry with myself and frustrated that how unfit I became where this time I'm really going at it like looking at it differently and I'm just seeing this as like sorry my hands are killing and um, this is the starting point and it's not the finish line and actually there isn't a finish line and um, just to feel healthy and to feel good and um, and I want to feel fitter and I want to feel better but ultimately my goal is just to, to feel happy so I just um, yeah, it just, just feels really good. Like, I think it's easy to kind of just sit aside and not work out and to to do nothing. Like, I've got that down to a T, but to actually get outdoors and go running and when you're really unfit and every time somebody goes past, you're, like, worrying that you're, like, panting really heavy. And for me, I, like, hold my breath and I'm like, oh, really self-consciously. And then after they go, I'm like, and I'm just like, that. So that's for me, it's like, so it's just, yeah so I just feel really proud of myself to just get out and like um yeah I just I feel amazing to be getting back into it and I I don't care that like I'm not fit and I've got a long way to go like my only goal really is to feel happy and feel connected and to just be present with everybody I love and um I'm just just enjoying life So it's Sunday evening, I haven't done any vlogging today and I'm about to get ready, get my jams on, um, take my makeup off and get to bed. Um, but the reason I haven't done any vlogging today is just because it's been really, really hectic um, trying to get my video done for tomorrow. Um, but I have meditated today and I'm going to do another meditation this evening because I think it's really important to, it's just really important to make sure that you're looking after yourself if things are a bit hectic and I really wanted to get a workout in the day but it didn't happen but I'm really proud of myself because I did work out yesterday knowing I had my video to do I prioritised that first and I just feel like that that's what we need to do we need to just kind of prioritise like exercise and 
eating healthy and I need to kind of get the balance right of being healthy, looking after the family and getting work done because I feel like that's all part of getting fitter, as bizarre as that sounds because I feel like if you're not happy with your lifestyle then then you start getting down and then like you start like you stop exercising and you start eating healthy I know that's what I've done in the past when I felt overwhelmed I've stopped doing stuff so rather than feel overwhelmed and feel stressed I'm gonna like calm have like a, a good night of like good sleep meditate before I go to bed and then just wake up and like just rock tomorrow like think about my goals think about how I can schedule things better and yeah and how I can just you know be healthy be fit like sort my videos out and put my family first and it's a bit of a mission Um, you know like I really really believe in like success at the speed of like balance and I think with everything you've just got to get the balance right so um yeah I better get myself into bed Ooh, yeah. Should we run? Yeah. Should we run? Go! Go! Clark says I have to run. So I just got back from Tesco's. Tesco's was really rubbish. I wanted to get like a healthy quick soup and they don't have any vegan ones. Um, so, but it was only a little Tesco so I can't complain. So what I did get is I got some bagels, so I'm probably just going to like do this, I've got some coconut oil and some chia seeds, I'm probably just going to have this for lunch with um, I have some strawberries on sale, so with some strawberries, I've got carrots to snack on, I've got like naked nibbles and things, um, and I've got a few bits in, so I'm probably just going to do that for my lunch.